Hello my friend, did you know that every order of sushi comes with a bit of wasabi? Or at least you think it does. But the truth is, most of the wasabi we consume isn't actually real wasabi. Wasabi japonica, also known as Japanese horseradish, is a plant that thrives in very specific environmental conditions. In Japan, it grows naturally along mountain streams where the water is cool, clean, and constantly flowing. This pristine environment gives wasabi everything it needs to grow conditions that are not only rare, but also extremely difficult to replicate outside of its native habitat. This spice is famous for its signature sharp heat. Incredibly, it takes the Japanese up to two years to grow and harvest a single wasabi plant. So, what makes it worth the wait? Today, we'll explore the world of wasabi farming in Japan, a unique, challenging, and incredibly valuable industry. Wasabi is more than just a condiment for sushi and sashimi. It's a cultural and culinary icon of Japan, with a history spanning over 400 years. Growing high-quality wasabi is no easy feat. The plant demands perfect environmental conditions, a cool, shaded place, temperatures between 10 minus 15 degrees Celsius, and a continuous flow of crystal clear water around its roots. These ideal conditions exist only in certain mountain stream valleys in Japan and recreating them on a large scale is nearly impossible, making wasabi one of the most difficult crops in the world to cultivate commercially. That's why fresh wasabi can cost up to $500 per kilogram. Regions like Nagano, Izu, and Shimane are known for their local production, but the true champion is the Izu Peninsula in Shizuoka Prefecture which produces 70% of Japan's wasabi. But the challenges don't stop there. Wasabi seeds are rare, making it even harder to start a new farm. Despite the strict growing conditions, Japan's wasabi industry has evolved over centuries. There are two main cultivation methods, haddock wasabi, growing in dry fields, and sawa wasabi, growing in running water beds. Haddock wasabi involves planting wasabi in fields. First, seeds must be collected. Soil preparation is crucial. It must be well-drained and fertile to support growth. Each wasabi plant should be spaced at least 30 centimeters apart to give it room to thrive. The soil needs to be rich in organic matter and slightly acidic, with a pH between 6 and 7. Mulching helps retain moisture and cool the roots. Farmers often use raised beds to improve drainage and reduce the risk of root rot, a major issue in wasabi farming.
saw wasabi use as limited land to build small growing plots. Large rocks are placed at the bottom, followed by layers of smaller stones and sand. This arrangement creates a natural filtration system, keeping the water clean a critical factor for wasabi growth. To thrive, soil wasabi needs water temperatures between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius. Flowing clean water not only regulates temperature, but also provides essential nutrients. The water is rich in dissolved oxygen and key minerals both vital for the health and growth of the plant. Dissolved oxygen helps the roots breathe, while the mineral supply supports strong development and enhances the flavor of the wasabi rhizome. This method mimics the plant's natural habitat, offering ideal growth conditions. Wasabi grown this way is typically of higher quality with a richer flavor. Saw wasabi is considered the ideal method because the Japanese believe that natural spring water not only nourishes the plant, but also prevents the buildup of toxins or harmful substances around the roots, which can happen in stagnant water. This continuous flow washes away potential contaminants ensuring the wasabi grows in the cleanest possible environment. Water is often described as the lifeblood of agriculture, and nowhere is that more true than in wasabi cultivation. Fresh wasabi is one of the most expensive spices in the world, fetching prices of up to $500 per kilogram. This high price comes from the difficult growing process and the labor-intensive methods needed to produce it. According to Japan's Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, in 2023, Japan produced only 1,380 tons of fresh wasabi, a modest number compared to the global demand of 30,000 to 50,000 tons per year, including both fresh and substitute forms. Other countries like Taiwan and China are also developing wasabi growing regions, but quality remains low. In the US, Canada, Israel, and New Zealand, there are small scale trials, but production is limited. Despite the price, Japanese cuisine continues to spread and gain popularity in the U.S., Europe, and Southeast Asia, and the demand for authentic wasabi keeps rising. Wasabi a japonica has a complex flavor profile. It starts with a sharp, intense heat that quickly mellows into a subtle sweetness. This unique combination makes it highly sought after in fine dining establishments around the world. Its flavor is so distinct that many people who try real wasabi a japonica for the first time are surprised it's nothing like the wasabi typically found in supermarkets. Growing wasabi requires meticulous care, starting from seed selection. Japanese farmers often use six to eight month old seedlings with strong, healthy roots to ensure high survival rates and optimize both quality and yield. Plants are spaced 30 to 40 centimeters apart to avoid competition for nutrients. Notably, wasabi cannot be planted directly into mud or compacted soil. It must rest on a bed of gravel to allow the roots to absorb oxygen properly. To 
Today, Japanese farmers use IAT sensors to monitor water moisture, pH levels, and temperature in real time, getting early warnings when conditions go off track. Wasabi is also highly sensitive to pests such as slugs, nematodes, and fungi like Pythium and Rhizoctonia, which cause root rot. Instead of chemical pesticides, farmers use beneficial microbes to strengthen the plant's resistance. If any plant shows signs of disease, it's removed immediately to prevent spread. Growing wasabi in direct sunlight can hinder its development. So during summer, wasabi is shaded with mesh covers to keep water temperature down. In winter, water flow is adjusted to keep roots warm and protect against temperature shocks. Typically, in late autumn or early spring, after 18 to 20 for months of careful cultivation, the wasabi plant reaches its ideal maturity for harvest. At this point, the main stem is 10 to 20 centimeters long, weighs 100 to 250 grams, with a bright green surface and characteristic nodes a mark of high quality wasabi. Harvest too early and the heat hasn't peaked, too late and the quality declines. Harvesting wasabi requires precision and patience. Farmers wade into the cold water, using their hands to feel the maturity of the rhizomes. They must be gentle pulled to heart and the roots may break, reducing both quality and value. Once lifted from the water, the plant is carefully cleaned without scratching the surface, as even a small scratch can dull the flavor. The fresh green leaves, while not the most valuable part, are also harvested carefully for culinary use. These farmers harvest not just with their hands, but with experience, intuition, and a true love for the special spice. And when that wasabi plant is finally lifted from the cool stream, it's more than just an ingredient, it's the culmination of nature, time, and the skill of those who nurtured it for two years. This is an art one that demands patience, precision, and deep respect for nature. After harvesting, fresh wasabi is stored at temperatures between 0 and 5 degrees Celsius with high humidity to maintain its freshness. When properly stored, it can keep its flavor for 1 to 2 months. That's why fresh wasabi is so valuable in the market, with high quality rhizomes selling for $300 to $500 per kilogram. Fresh wasabi is grated right before serving, delivering a sharp and vibrant flavor completely different from processed wasabi. Its intense spiciness and signature nasal punch make every bite an explosion of pure flavor. Plus, it releases a lil isothiocyanin, a compound that kills harmful bacteria in food and keeps your gut healthy. If you're feeling aches or pains, wasabi's anti-inflammatory properties might be just what you need. This little green root may even support your immune system. In Japan, it's sometimes used as a natural antibacterial in pickled vegetables or as folk medicine for allergies. So, 
What is that green paste you dip your sushi into? Most store-bought wasabi today is simply a blend of horseradish, mustard, and food coloring. Horseradish has its own kind of heat a lingering burn after swallowing, quite different from the gentle spiciness of wasabi at Japonica. Restaurants often buy it in powder form and just add water or wasabi that tricks your taste buds. Wasabi powder also appears in processed snacks or ice cream, adding a light kick. Next time you get the chance to try fresh wasabi, go for it. You'll taste the difference immediately. Thank you for joining us in this journey into the world of wasabi, a Japanese flavor that everyone should try at least once. If you found the story behind the amazing technology and techniques of wasabi farming fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to discover more secrets of agriculture. See you in the next video on Radiant Farming.